Hi there, it's Jada again coming to you from the Blue Ridge Parkway. Video Module 2 is about the history of literary maps in North Carolina. Enjoy! Welcome to the North Carolina Literary Map. This module will discuss the history of literary maps in North Carolina. The first North Carolina literary maps were paper and often hung on walls of classrooms throughout the state. The first was created by Nancy Kirka in 1950 for the North Carolina Teachers Association. This colorful map shows the state populated by predominant North Carolina writers and drawings of characters from their books. Other authors appear on the spines of books located on the bottom of the map. An insert in the lower left-hand corner lists winners of the Mayflower Award, which is presented annually to the best published work by a North Carolina author. There are approximately 20 individuals highlighted, and it touches on all three regions of the state. The creator's intent was not to offer a detailed survey of the state's literary heritage, but an attractive illustration of selected North Carolina authors and literature. Ted Malone created the second paper literary map in 1990, which is noticeably different from the first, reflecting all hundred counties in the state and representing both historic and fictional characters, as well as contemporary authors. This was a very popular map, with 5,000 copies being purchased. There was some discussion of Mr. Malone updating the map, but that did not take place. With the growth of technology and online resources, it is not surprising that an online literary map would emerge. The North Carolina Literary Map was developed at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro in partnership with the North Carolina Center for the Book at the State Library in Raleigh. It was formally launched in January of 2010 as a detailed and comprehensive record of historic and contemporary authors and literature. It is a searchable, browsable, data-driven online map where users are able to access a database of authors and literature, as well as learning tools and cultural resources. Since its launch, the map has continued to evolve with a new search function and resources. Please take a few minutes to explore the lit map or continue to the next module that will discuss the vision and selection criteria for the map. And of course, if you have any questions about this module, please contact the LitMap team.